was at four o'clock in the morning, I can tell you, on the 24th of February, 2022, that uh, you called me, Vladimir, to say that the incredible had actually happened and insanity had, had broken out and that Russian tanks were surging across the frontier of a sovereign, independent country in Europe. And cruise missiles were exploding all over Ukraine. And in that moment of supreme crisis, you faced a test of leadership that was in its way as severe as Churchill's challenge in 1940. And when one world leader offered you a way out, you replied, I need ammunition, not a ride. And I think Churchill would have cheered uh, and probably would have wept too because he was often moved to tears at the sheer courage, the moral, physical courage you showed in those grim weeks. Your defiance, your dignity, your unfailing good humour has moved millions. And as you stand against barbarism, you've become a symbol of the heroism of the Ukrainian people. You've addressed so many parliaments that I've lost count, and you've brought both sides of the House of Commons to their feet, something that Churchill would surely have envied. And I can imagine his spirit walking with you, silently urging you on, encouraging you through every ordeal, jabbing the way ahead with his walking stick, and perhaps marvel marvelling at uh, your own superb contempt for danger, something that I think uh, he himself uh, understood. And like Churchill, you've understood that you're not yourself the lion. The Ukrainian people, of course, are the lion. But you have been called upon to give the roar, the roar of freedom against tyranny, of good against evil, of light against darkness. And you have delivered that roar magnificently. That's why it has been such a huge stroke of good fortune that you should have been in office at this time of crisis for Ukraine and the world. And inspired by your leadership, I know not just that Ukraine can win, but the Ukraine will win. And when that day comes, as it will, Ukraine will rise and take its place as a free, sovereign and independent nation. Thank you, Volodymyr, for everything that you have done. Slava Ukraini and uh, Slava Ukraini and our, 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 physical, our physical separation notwithstanding, it gives me great pleasure, Volodymyr, to present you with this award, if you can see it, which I hope you can. There you go. Here he is.